someone or something next to our car again. I know this sounds weird, but he said it looked like an alien. They ran into the cornfields and disappeared. I'm going to call the police. Amy, don't. I don't trust the cops or the government, or anyone else for that matter. And you shouldn't trust them either. We created our neighborhood watch for this exact reason. Brandon, I understand the situation, but this needs to stop. It's also absolutely irresponsible to send Ryan out tonight. Amy, don't tell the officials anything. Otherwise, we all end up in the nut house. Are you trying to tell them we think there's little green men running around? Gray, Brandon. They are gray. The only thing we can do in our situation is to board up our windows and doors. Amy, trust me. You don't want to end up in the second board. I've got a high price to break free. The only way to escape ah, is to... You've told your stupid story a thousand times. In Vietnam, we dealt with things worse than that almost every day. What does Vietnam have to do with it? Whatever. I always wear my tin foil lamp when I leave my camera with him. I believe the aliens have the ability to control us through telepathic powers. I'm convinced that Henry protects me. Hey guys, Henry's been acting strange since he came home from the forest this morning. I don't know what's going on with him. Ryan! Hey. something from the people. Things like this just don't happen here in Grey Hill. It started with Roswell, and it's been increasing since the 60s. That is the way it is. Are you and your bat ready for the night shift? Ryan Baker, the king of baseball. Yeah, Brandon. I am. Don't forget to visit us later, Ryan. We'll make some coffee for you. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Amy. And fix the TV. Henry, tell me what you saw in the forest today. You should ask Rachel, that crazy girl. Henry, is someone in your room? Is Rachel in there? I, I hope not. She should stop bothering me. What's going on with you, Henry? Tell me. Who's there? I'm going to your room, Henry. Stay here. Someone was in your room. They went out the window. Max is barking! <sighs> Fuck this headache.
I should do the same. We should all do the same. Dad, it wasn't Rachel, right? Yeah, he uh, locked the door and ran out of the roof. It's okay, he's gone now. But there was a strange light. Look! The TV! It's working now! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Lunatics and conspiracy theorists claim to have seen a UFO. The minority tries to convince other people that the small green aliens are real. The government has checked into this incident and has announced that this UFO, fortunately, is just a weather balloon. This movement that you'll see in a few seconds is just a reflection on the lens of the camera. There is no reason to concern, and don't forget to be aware of the small green man in your backyard. Your that is room. not a weather balloon. They're lying. The government is lying, and they're trying to hide it from us. Brandon was right. We're already in Grey Hill. We can't talk Dad, about it to the police. They'll just lock us up in a psych ward. Place. I hate this neighborhood hole. I'll go talk to Brandon. I'm here. Ryan, something is wrong with Joe Parson, the farmer, you know. He called me a few minutes ago. He was very afraid. Then the radio connection became broken off by something. He is working on the field near your house. You must check okay, immediately what check happened to him. him. By the way, someone was in Henry's room. They escaped out the window. I almost caught them in our shed, but there was a strange blue light. Pull yourself I'm sure together. they're here. Have you seen the TV news? No one will help us. We're all boarding up our windows currently. I know how to shoot because of the Vietnam War, and you can handle the baseball bat. We will overcome this night and drive to our holiday home by tomorrow. Don't forget how I shot your son's hat off while wearing it when I was drunk at the barbecue last summer. Uh, Brandon! How I can handle you the still have to I'm pay sober. for that. <sighs> but leaving town tomorrow sounds like a good idea. I'll keep you up here. Over and out. Thank you. 
my tractor. I hope this message gets to you. Walkie talkie connection broke. They're small and gray. Oh my god. on her head. It looks like Kitty. I should bring her to his caravan. He boarded up his door weeks ago. I'll have to try the dormer window on his roof. That was you on my roof. <gasps> Is this Kitty? My cat? Yeah, I caught her out in the field near the track. Oh, what does she have on her head? I don't know. It makes a strange noise. It sounds like electricity or something. Oh, and Bob, I had a strange encounter in my backyard. There was also some kind of weird electricity. I'll tell you about it later. Let's look at the cat first. I'll take a closer look. Looks like an implant, or some kind of probe. Ryan, I think they abducted Kitty. They had experiments. By the way, have you boarded up your house? It's really dangerous no, in Ray Hill not these yet. days. You should do it immediately. You need to wear a tinfoil hat. Your son Henry too. They go into your brains by telepathy. Also, don't forget, don't ever tell me. As Brandon said before, the government knows it. Now, take this preparation for your walkie-talkie. The tinfoil's on the kitchen desk. Please check the monitors! Huh? Fast! What the hell is this? 
him. No, 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 no. Something very bad is happening. Henry, can you hear me? I think I'm going in the wrong direction. I think I remember there being a fence through the cornfield. I just need to get around the silo over there.
Why is there a secret file of Greyhill in a police car? This doesn't make any sense. Thank God, Henry. They abducted him using some sort of ray or beam right through the roof. The squad car crashed back there. I think Amy called him. Ryan, car this is an the absolute invasion. Gone. Do you know what that means? They'll abduct everyone in the village. Humans, animals, and every little insect. They'll take samples of everything, making experiments of everyone. This is an extraterrestrial investigation. This can't be our end. I don't want to end up as an alien experiment victim. They already cleaned your house, so I don't think they're gonna come back. I've already started to board up your place. This will save us tonight. But Ryan, we have a little problem. I used up all the nails. This morning, I brought all my nails to the Creek family. Mr. Creek put them on the table in their house. All right, I'll you get them. You have to go get them. We communicate the by walkies from left. now on. I think he boarded it up, but you have to find a way in. Test, test, test. Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Over. Yeah, I can hear you. By the way, I found a gun in that crash squad car back there. Let's hope I don't Great. have to use it. But be quiet and sneak around. It's dangerous if they hear the shots and see you. Also, avoid using the flashlight. The Greys could see it immediately. And take note, it's important that they don't follow you into a house. If they do, we're screwed. If it becomes dangerous, Hide in a car, a yeah, trash can, great. or something else. Trash cans. Brandon would love to see <laughs> Okay. Good luck, Ryan. I'm waiting for you.
Great, Ryan, you've got him! I've got some ammo. Take it. Ryan, are you there? Brandon, I'm here. Aliens are everywhere, Ryan. They're trying to get inside my house. Rachel, go to your room. Hide under your bed. My house is boarded up, but I'm not sure if this helps. I need help, Ryan. Oh, no, the windows. Brandon! Brandon, hang on! I'm coming! Okay, Ryan. Go to Brandon. He needs your help. In the meantime, I'll try to get my caravan working. They disabled all the cars in Grey Hill. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Hello? Please. Is, I can hear you. Is someone there? My name's Ryan. My name's Who Bones. is this? Thank God you're here. Uh, I'm injured. I'm trapped in a barn. Jesus, what's that smell? Who are you? In which barn? There's tons of them. I'm not sure. I just... I just woke up here. I, I can't remember what happened before that. You said your name is Ryan, right? I have to tell you something. The government, they... They know everything. They... They knew the invasion was happening here. They're gonna cover it up. Like they always have. I'm sorry. I, I got here too late. This shit! Listen, Ryan. Hello. You have to get as much tinfoil as you can. Uh, At least five rolls. You think that was that cop that crashed his car? How does he know all of this? Where the hell am I gonna find all that foil?
should collect more tinfoil first. Thank <laughs> you. 